the University of North Texas is mourning the loss of yet another young life here in Denton. Last week, 21-year-old Amanda Claremont was found fatally shot and killed in her car in Corinth. Three other students were killed last year, including Ryan McMillan, another 21-year-old student, who was shot and killed by UNT police after he was found carrying an ax and damaging cars near the UNT campus. Sarah Munchlinger was also found shot and killed in her car by a group of teenagers while she was leaving a party here in Denton. And Jacqueline Vandegrift, a TWU student and licensed esthetician, was found dead following her disappearance from a local bar. Last year we had, we had uh, more than average number of homicides, um, but none of them had any kind of pattern to them. The spike in homicides has students a little worried about their safety during the nightlife. When I go to Fry, I find that I'm a little more aware than I used to be about the things going on. So, for instance, if you're at a bar and you start noticing that people are kind of getting into a disagreement, you're you're not expecting it to kind of blow up, but you're you find yourself paying attention to it just in case something were to happen. But public information officer Brian Coe says there's nothing to worry about. So crime isn't up in Denton. This is the rate that we're used to. But now TV stations are covering Denton a little bit more often. They, they realize that we exist up here. Though the local crime map shows cases of public intoxication, robbery, and assault around Fry Street, Coe says these are just things that happen in a college bar district. The call volume around uh, highly populated areas, especially highly populated areas with a lot of alcohol selling establishments and bars, um, tend to be places where we see more calls. Lee Meek is the assistant manager at Lucky Lou's, a bar on Fry, and says they take extra precautions to ensure that the customers are safe. Uh, we have our security guy and his goal ultimately is to just make sure they're out of the bar before addressing the situation. We don't want it affecting the business in any way, so we just escort them to the gate and then we address them and figure out what the problem is. Despite these rare incidents, students can continue enjoying the Denton nightlife knowing they're in good hands. Denton is a safe city. Statistics tell us it's a safe city.